pocket. I'll do a bookshelf tour. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is my first bookshelf. As you can see it's very crowded because it also like doubles as my bedside table. Um, so here I have all the books that I have out from the City of Perth library and this stack is all the books that I have out from my local library. I That's my hot chocolate that I'm drinking. Um, I have a packet of tea so that no one else in my family drinks it. I've just got some random things like my glasses case, my aircon remote, glasses cleaner, um, whiteboard markers, um, I, that there is a carton cutter from work. Um, these books stand on my Cards Against Humanity case, I've just got some bedside ibuprofen, a water bottle, I also have a candle, I love candles, that one's vanilla scented, and then I have my Nerf bow over there, I've got my Playstation controller, TBR jar that I haven't used, and another candle there that I bought myself for Christmas and on my headboard I just keep well I don't normally keep a candle there but I have another candle this is my currently reading pile so as you can see I'm reading Alienated by Melissa Landers and Fairy Tales for Wild Girls by Elise Nia although I think I'm going to I'll put that on a DNF for now and this is my non-fiction shelf as you can see I have it roughly sorted into like Writing, English, science, memoir, and then like little books. Grey's Anatomy by Henry Grey. Bullfinch's Greek and Roman Mythology, The Age of Fable. The Book of English Magic by Philip Cargom and Richard Haygate. Cat Owner's Manual by Dr. David Brunner and Sam Stahl. And if you have a cat or a dog, because I think they have dog ones as well, you should definitely get these, they are hilarious and informative. Music and Medicine by John O'Shea, which looks at the medical profiles of great composers. Electric Sheep, Elephants on Acid and Hippo Eats Dwarf by Alex Bowies. The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jane Campbell. Breakfast, School Run Chemo by Julia Watson. I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. Prescription for Murder, The True Story of Mass Murderer, Dr. Harold Frederick Shipman by Brian Whittle and Jean Ritchie. And this is fascinating. If you ever find your hands on this, you should definitely read it because it's just it's so interesting. Moving down here for a second, um, this is just a whole bunch of old textbooks. Up here we have my... Um, manga and children's books we've got my classics and then we've got my um just my this is my basically my standalone shelf so i've got um these are all the same height and they're arranged in alphabetical order by author and then these ones are bigger and they're just sort of arranged however i want them to be i'm not going to pull them all out one by one because it's a box set that's annoying but i have volumes one to ten of the legend of zelda manga Sailor V Volume 1 by Nako Takeichi. And I'm not going to pull them out, but I have Sailor Moon Volumes 1 to 6, also by Nako Takeichi. Fajimania by Judy Bloom. Nathan Board Hits the Beach by Anthony Eaton. And this is a signed copy. Round the Twist by Paul Jennings. The Worst Witch Collection by Jill Murphy. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. The BFG by Roald Dahl. Matilda by Roald Dahl, The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. At the end here we just have this little plush white tiger that I got from the Tiger Kingdom in Chiang Mai. Alright, so now we're at my classics shelf and we've got this bookworm teacup which I got at Book Expo Australia last year in Sydney. Got all my vintage classics and then we've got a few other ones and then we've got Little Women and Good Wives by Louisa May Alcott. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. Two copies of The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. Casino Royale by Ian Fleming. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Larue. Therese O'Quinn by Emile Zola. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Dracula by Bram Stoker, 
The Murders in the Rue Morgue and Other Tales by Edgar Allan Poe, The Three Theban Plays by Sophocles, A Streetcar Named Desire and Other Plays by Tennessee Williams, and Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Blueback by Tim Winton, Seriously Hamlet by William Shakespeare and Courtney Carbone, Yolo Juliet by William Shakespeare and Brett Wright, The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, 1984 by George Orwell, The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertoli, Never Always Sometimes by Addie Olsett, The Masked Truth by Kelly Armstrong, The Anthologist by Nicholson Baker, The Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne, Deception Point by Dan Brown, Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Rifka Brunt, The Girl with All the Gifts by M. R. Carey, The Hollow Man by John Dixon Carr, The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler, Dear Dylan by Siobhan Kerham, Lost and Found by Brooke Davis, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, Coraline by Neil Gaiman, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall, You're the Kind of Girl I Write Songs About by Daniel Herborn, Children of Morrow by H.M. Hoover, The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy, Yellow by Megan Jacobson, The Next Together by Lauren James, Wicked by Paul Jennings and Morris Gleitzman. Midnight Pirates by Ali Kennan. The Sidekicks by Will Kostakis. Losing It by Julia Lawrenson. Every Day by David Levithan. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. It's Not Me, It's You by Mary McFarlane. You Had Me At Hello by Mary McFarlane. The Hundred Foot Journey by Richard C. Moray. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. The Saddlebag by Baihi Nakshirvani. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Nation by Terry Pratchett, which I read in year 12 for English, and this book got a lot of flack, but it's actually one of my favourite books, literally ever. Um, so get on reading that if you haven't already. It's not part of the Discworld series, it's not even fantasy, it is historical fiction. Maybe magical realism? I don't know, but he, um, yeah, it's really good, just, just read it, okay? Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, the Stone Angel by Catherine Scholes, The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson, The Help by Catherine Stockett, Fire Colour One by Jenny Valentine, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Walker, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, The Messenger by Marcus Suzak. Okay, so <clears throat> on this shelf we've got my larger books. Going across, we've got my hot chocolate because my brother will drink it if I keep it downstairs and I don't want that to happen. And then I have my books that I need to take back to the library. Normally, like if I don't have library books, my book seat will go there, but I do, so. A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, and this is my favourite book of all time. Trick by Natalia Jasta. Not If I See You First by Eric Lindstrom. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alire Sanz. The Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl by Melissa Keel. Life in Outer Space by Melissa Keel. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. The Martian by Andy Weir. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. And Drowned by Esther Delsano. The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Trigger Warning, Short Fictions and Disturbances by Neil Gaiman. The Paris Enigma by Pablo de Santos. The Fourth Door by Paul Holter. The Mystery of the Yellow Room by Gaston Leroux. The Plague Court Murders by John Dixon Carr. It's a Wonderful Death by Sarah J. Schmidt. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. This is English. There is no way I'm going to tackle this monster. In French, Choices by Jeff Edwards. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Dezini. Wintertown by Stephen Eamond. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Happy Face by Stephen Eamond. Everything Leads to You by Nina Lacour. Black Iris by Leah Rader. Now we're on my bottom shelf, which is just like massive books. 
and then comics and graphic novels. And then this like really old set of cyclopedias from the 1930s, like they refer to the First World War as the, the Great War. Um, so that's really interesting from a historical point of view. But first we've got some Christmas books, oh, some children's books. So What Newt Could Do for Churchill by Jonathan London, a Christmas Mouse by Vivian French, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes by Rick Riordan, The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia, The Little Prince Pop-Up Edition by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, The Complete Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, A Treasury of Fairy Tales, The Complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible, A Marvelous Memoir by Stan Lee, Some Dr. Zeus Books, Summer by Alice Lowe. This was the first book I ever read by myself, which is why I nicked it. It's, yeah very sentimental. Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories by Dr. Zeus and Are You My Mother by P.D. Eastman. Chu Volume 1, Chu Volume 2 by John Lehman and Rob Giller. Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Bourne and Fiona Staples. The Goddess of Thunder by Jason Aaron Russell Dorderman and George Molina. Kingsman the Secret Service by Mark Miller, David, Dave Gibbons and Matthew Vaughan. Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, Super Mutant Magic Academy by Gillian Tamaki, and Penguins with People Problems by Mary Laura Philpott. I totally just filmed two entire shelves and forgot to actually press record. So, that's fun. Guess we'll just have to do that again. The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas, The Young Elites by Marie Lu, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, Bloodlust and Initiation, Ritual and Legacy, High Stakes and Hunted, this is the Vampire Beach series by Alex Duval, The Lost Symbol which is book three in the Robert Langdon series by Dan Brown, The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill and The Austere Academy books one to five in a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Who Could That Be At This Hour? All the Wrong Questions, Book 1 by Lemony Snicket. The name of this book is Secret. If you're reading this, it's too late. This book is not good for you. This isn't what it looks like. And You Have to Stop This by Pseudonymous Bosch. This is the Secret series. Starcrossed, Dreamless, and Goddess by Josephine Angelini. The Hunger Games. Catching Fire and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Midnight for Charlie Bone, Charlie Bone and the Time Twister, Charlie Bone and the Blue Boa, Charlie Bone and the Castle of Mirrors, Charlie Bone and the Hidden King, Charlie Bone and the Wilderness Wolf, Charlie Bone and the Shadow of Badlock, and Charlie Bone and the Red Knight. This is the Children of the Red King series by Jenny Nimmo. Rivers of London, Moon Over Soho, Whispers Underground, Broken Homes, Foxglove Summer, books 1 to 5 in the Peter Grant series or Rivers of London series, whichever you prefer, by Ben Aronovich. Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan and Deborah Biancotti. A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab. The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two, the two Towers, And the <laughs> stop it. And the Return of the King by J.R. Tolkien. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth. And Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. City of Bones. City of Ashes. City of Glass. City of Fallen Angels. City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, all by Cassandra Clare. First Life by Gina Showalter, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard Book 1, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. This is a Heroes of Olympus series. 
Demon Road by Derek Landy, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Road, A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Rick, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Prep School Confidential by Cara Taylor, Bookishly Ever After by Isabel Bandera, One Seriously Messed Up Week in the Otherwise Mundane and Uneventful Life of Jack Samsonite, and One Seriously Messed Up Weekend in the Otherwise Unmessed Up Life of Jack Samsonite by Tom Clemson, Am I Normal Yet? and How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bourne, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, So You Think You Know Harry Potter, The Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wiss, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander, Harry Potter à l'école de sorcière, and Harry Potter et la Chambre de Secret, which are the first and second books in French, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith or J.K. Rowling. Heatwave by Richard Castle, which I have signed by Nathan Fillion. Naked Heat by Richard Castle. Heat Rises, Frozen Heat, Deadly Heat, and Stormfront, all by Richard Castle. The 10th anniversary edition of Twilight, which has Life and Death at the back by Stephanie Meyer. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Diviners and Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. Cinder, Scarlet, Press, and Winter, as well as Fairest and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, almost there. Here we have my pop vinyls on this shelf. A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords Part 1 and 2, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. My battery's doing a weird thing, so I'm just gonna like quickly go through these. We have A Study in Scarlet, The Sign of Four, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, The Return of Sherlock Holmes, The Hound of the Baskervilles, The Valley of Fear, His Last Bow, and the casebook of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the Septimus Heap series, I'll just pull out the first book, um, which is Magic, and then we have Flight, Physic, Quest, Siren, Dark and Fire by Angie Sage. And on this top shelf we have Camelot's Shadow, Camelot's Honor and Camelot's Sword by Sarah Zettel. I'm fairly certain these are my aunties. I'm not sure if she wants them back or not. The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, which are book one and two in the Robert Langdon series, and they're up here because they're like hella smaller than the other one. Alana the First Adventure in the Hand of the Goddess, The Woman Who Rides Like a Man and Lioness Rampant by Tamora Pierce, and then we have Wicked, Son of a Witch, and A Lion Among Men by Gregory Maguire. That's it, I hope you liked my bookshelf tour, um, let me know what you thought of it, I guess. Um, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time, bye!